go ahead and get started. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to Ramadan Crafts Week 2. Uh, if you have not already gotten out that bag, make sure you get out the Ramadan Crafts Week 2. It's a very skinny little bag. It'll have two little people and five markers in it. So if you missed the first part, you need to have your markers. Of course, you can use any other markers that you have at home, but also have with you a pencil and an eraser. So you can see right here that I have a whole bunch of peg people I've made. Um, these two are without faces in case you want to do them without faces. Um, they're in various styles of dress. Today, I'm gonna to guide you through how to make this guy, which is um, our little man with pants on, jeans and a tie, and here's a lady. Of course, you can just do it without hijab, that's up to you, but again, we'll just lead you through some of them. Okay, so we'll start with this guy. Take one of them, find a nice spot on their faces. Some of them have like a little pattern on the, some of the faces, and that's you know perfectly, like they have little round circles from the wood. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is just draw, kind of using your pencil, kind of sketch out an area that's gonna be the face. So kind of a round circle, can you see that? Might be a little bit hard to see, but you see how there's a round circle that I just made? That's gonna be the face. We're gonna do the girl first. And so that's gonna be her face. I'm not gonna paint that part or color it. As you can see from this one, she's not, uh, her face isn't, is not there you go there you, yeah there we are so her face um does not have any uh, color on it so that's why i'm going to leave that solid wood okay the next thing what uh, are we good go on okay so the next thing you're going to do is down from the face you're going to want to draw kind of two lines off to the side it's just a little arc i'll try to do it really dark so you guys can see it kind of two little shapes like that do you see that so you see how there's just two lines. That's, a, that's one of her arms and you're gonna end that line with a circle. That's gonna be a hand. Yeah, you can do whatever you want, but this is, I'm just showing you how to do this one. So this is, see how there's a circle and two lines that go up. So that's gonna be one of her arm, that's her arm and her hand. And then do the same thing on the other side. So draw another circle kind of under her face and then do two lines that go up to the to the other side. So in the end you should have let me find my camera. There we go. See how I have two hands and two arms. Two hands, so two circles. So draw the circle for her face and then two circles in the middle of her body and two little curves that go up from there. As you can see from this one that that's already done, that's it's that exact shape. And you can see that they're not, they don't have to be perfect. See her hands are not lined up in this case. It's no big deal. So I'm not planning on painting in her hands or her face. Of course you can, if you want them to be uh, match your skin tone, of course you're free to do that as well. I just thought it'd be easy, easier not to. Okay, when you're ready, let me see a few thumbs up. Okay, then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw this part of her hijab right here. See, so it's just a, just a curve, kind of a U-shaped curve around her neck. And you don't have to be perfect about these. You can see I kind of made a mistake on that one and it's perfectly fine. There's just a little U-shaped curve right there. Now you can do these any way you want. I'm just gonna again, show you this example. You, if you don't like that one, then um, peg people are pretty inexpensive to buy. So you can just do that. Once you do the curve, just kind of, kind of just draw it up to the neck somewhere around her back. Cause we're just gonna have it go around her neck. So this little lady's our example and see how the hijab kind of ends right there. Okay, we ready to move on? Thumbs up when you're ready. Okay, looking good. All right, then just take the arm and connect it up to the hijab. Just one of them. 
that'll kind of give you a starting point of where you're where you're, so it's basically what we're doing is drawing kind of a shirt and a jacket for her so you see now i found that my arm is a little too long so that's where the eraser comes in just gonna erase that little line okay so in the end and then take the second arm and go down from there I'll show you what I end up with. Okay, so what I did is I ended up, see how I did that? So I drew the arm and then I took it up to the hijab and then down to the bottom. So what I'm doing is making a jacket and a shirt on top of it. You can call it an abaya, you can call it a coat, whatever. Just, just an idea to get two different colors. Of course, you don't have to do it this way. You can do it all one color, but um, I found this way it looks really cute. So here's my little orange and purple girl. And then I started out with uh, this little lady who's wearing an interesting combination of colors as well. Okay. So now you can actually get started coloring. So um, there's just a variety of colors. I tried to give everybody a little bit of dark, a little bit of light colors, but whatever you have, just, um, you can start coloring. You pick one color for the jacket part and one color for the front. This is the front part. Just skip the circles that are her hands and, and don't touch the face yet. Just do it, just the jacket part. So I've decided I've got these, these colors. I've got a yellow, green, blues, um, two greens and a pink. I guess I'm gonna do pink and green. So just take the pink marker. And I'm gonna color in just the front part of her jacket. So I'll first line, do the edges. Just said, skip her hands. If you wanna make them a, match your skin tone, you can go back. We might end up painting mine brown to match my skin tone. If you want a diverse group of people, I saw a really cute one online where um, this lady had made them where they were all, it was a bunch of diverse Muslims. So they were all different colors and shapes and sizes. It just looked so cute. They even had like prints on their clothes. You're free to add prints. One way to do that is like, once you get done, go back and put a design on top. Super simple. You can see I started just coloring that in. So this is the pink. I don't know if it shows that pink. Yeah, with the combination of the wood color, it looks a little bit um, pinkish. So her sleeves will be the color that you do for the jacket. So just do, just do this part right that's in orange on this girl. That's what part you're going to do. She is a little bit easier to color. The man is a little bit harder to get his, um, to get his clothes done. Um, and again, go back, add some embellishments. If you have later on, if you have some like stickers, you can put some jewels on her clothes. Maybe she's getting dressed for Eid. So she wants some like fancy clothes. Okay, so my little girl has her dress all colored. So just skip her hands and for now skip her arms because the arms are gonna be the color of the jacket like this one, see? And if you are done, you can go ahead and color the next one. Go ahead and color the her. So again, if you're just joining, what you wanna do is first draw two little arm lines, which are kind of curves, two hands, a circle for her face, a curve around her neck for her hijab, and then you can just start coloring it in. So I'm gonna do her jacket, as I said, in green. So then you can take the rest, just skip the hands and color in the rest of the jacket. It'll immediately start being obvious where her hand arm is because it will be a different color. And just skip the hijab. You can go all the way up to the neckline. Um, I just had on the back, the hijab goes around her neck, see? And if you want to draw her without a hijab, that's perfectly fine too. You can make it look like hair. As we support a diversity of opinion. Uh, 
line and I thought they were so cute and I was always tempted to buy them, but then I didn't realize how easy they were to make. So here we are making our very own peg people. Now you can have her hijab be another color. You can have it be black. Um, you, I don't, did not, we didn't have any black, black markers. So you probably have a black marker at home. You can do brown. You can do whatever color. You can even do take the two colors that you use to make a combination. You can make like checks or prints or whatever you want people that you get to play with. This will take a little bit longer to fill in just because it's more stuff. So let's color her all in. I hope everybody's had a good Ramadan so far. You can use these to display around your house. If you wanted to make your family, you can make them look like you. Um, I happen to find some smaller peg people around my house. So I did two little ones, as you can see back here, these little guys. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't think about it before, but I should have made them look like my kids. Because uh, this could look like Anissa, but Adam definitely does not have a beard yet. So that would not be a good idea for him. I might see if I can find another little person and make that my kiddos. Okay, mine is colored in. And so you see how she has, uh, she has a jacket now and a pink dress. Look how cute, she's already looking so cute. And if you want to ask a question or anything, just uh, raise your hand or put that little hand symbol up or put it in the chat and I will keep that. Um, I will keep that open so I could take a look. If you are done, and only if you are, you can go ahead and color in her hijab. Now here, what you want to do is color in everything except that circle you drew in for the face. That's why we do the circle first, so that we would not accidentally overwrite her face. So I think I am going to try to do something funky and try to do a little pattern on her, on her hijab. So I'll do some pink and some green so she's all matching. If you happen to have a, a Sharpie around uh, or a silver marker, that could be really cool. Or some gold. Just one second. Okay, sorry about that. All righty, so I'm just coloring in her good job. I've decided to make her a little bit pink. A little bit of pink could have a little bit of green. I think I'll do a green edge on it. Let's see. So I'm going to add a little bit of black. Since I'm a little bit, um, obviously I've done this before, I'm a little bit more ahead. Um, the other thing you can do when you're done is go back with a black, like a thin marker or another marker and actually outline everything that you did so that you can like make the arms and legs more defined. Now, one thing to use a, a special certain kind of markers, they'll bleed a little bit. See how that bleeds a little bit into the side? That's okay. It's okay. It's not a big deal. So, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to edge her, I'm going to circle her hands in, edge her jacket. Oops, I messed up a little bit. That's okay. I have imperfect peg people. Oh. Okay, so see, I messed up a little bit on the side. That's okay. I'll just go back in my 
darker color and color that in. How are we doing? Anybody uh, got a point where you want to show me your, your little colored peg person with her colored dress? It takes a little bit um, to color them in, but we still have time before we switch over to our little mister, so we are okay. The neck is a little bit hard to get the color in there because you kind of have to go around into the curve, but these little markers that we gave you are really good for that because they'll reach in. If you use a fat marker, marker, it's a little harder to get into her neck um, to color that in. So these are actually quite perfect. I had one fat marker I was trying to use and I just could not get it into there at all. So coloring up her head, you take some quick strokes. She's got a lot of surface to cover. Okay, so I'm gonna put, try to put some stripes on her hijab. We'll see how this works. And if you don't like it, don't worry, you can always just go back over it and uh, color it all black. It'll cover up all the color you just put on there. So you really can't mess up, which is kind of a perfect thing, a perfect kind of art. Ooh, my girl's all fancy. She's got a matching little outfit for, for Eid. She's going to be stylish and she's going to be super excited to celebrate Eid. If anybody has one to show me, I would love to see them. It kind of looks like a spider. I'm not sure if I'm liking what I did here, but that's okay. It's supposed to look like checks, but. Like I said, if I don't like it, I can just go back over it and do black. I guess that's okay. So that's what mine looks like in the end. Do you see that? A little bit spidery, but not quite. It's like I made some checks. I think what I'll do is just go back in and color every other one of those checks in. She's kind of cute, isn't she? Let me see your cute little peg people when you're ready. Nobody's ready yet? Okay, that's fine. And in case we didn't tell you for next week, make sure you have at least um, one uh, toilet paper roll or paper towel roll empty. If you need to ask neighbors or whatever for them, this is the time to do it. You will need that for next week's craft. That's really important. And I think you're gonna have a really good time next week making those. How's that? Huh? Did somebody have one to show me? Oh, look how cute that is. Let me see yours of them. Let's pin that for a second. Let's see, show, lift him up. Oh yeah, he's, she's cute. Let me see yours, Anissa. You're not ready yet? Not done yet. Okay, all right. Adam got done faster. I guess we know who's the fast color. I'm going to try, I'm trying to improve this because I did not like the way that turned out. 
like I said, I can always go back over it with black if I decide that I just don't like it at all. That's a good thing is you can modify. Okay, so see how she's got her eyes. So that's one easy way is on the face. Again, start with a pencil so you don't make the mistake that I did the other guy. And just do a little curve for her mouth. And then two opposite little curves for her eyes. And if you want, you can add some eyelashes. So the three little tiny curves on the side. See? There you go. See my little face? Now, I haven't colored that in, in color, but I'll go ahead and do that in black. If you don't have black, you can use brown. You can use whatever color. You can even give her some, some lipstick if you'd like. They're your dolls, so they're up to you. See, here's me. Here's my little lady. I'm not liking what I did with her hijab, but again, easy to fix, okay? So the first one I made, I actually put him in a Middle Eastern uh, thob type, like a dress thing. You can see I made my, I messed up on his, on his, uh, on his neckline. That's why I said, let's start with pencil. But then I said, you know what? I don't know anybody who wears those. So I said, let's make some pants. So we're gonna follow this guy right here. See, let me turn him a little bit this way. Okay. So the first thing to do on him is the same. We'll start by making his face. So do a round little, we'll just do a round face. That way we don't over color on top of it. And then this one, we're gonna start by making his belt. So about halfway down, do try to do a circle all, like do one line all the way around and then follow that with another line just a little bit below it. So if that doesn't make sense, I'll show you mine. Just a second. It's a little hard to make a meet up in the middle. That's okay. See how I did a line all the way around? Can you see that? Just a little bit. Yeah. Pull Can, the see? Can you see that? There's a line all the way around. Then Can I'm we make a circle for the head? For the rear? Yeah, I went ahead and made a circle. Um, we can, we'll come back in later. Now I'm going to end up putting a little beard on him. So so I will do it that way if you want to. It'll just give you an idea of where to not put color. And then later on, you can put your, the hair in if you'd like. Okay, so do another line right below that. That will be the end of his belt. You can make it as wide or as narrow as you want. You want a good Texan style belt. It'll be nice and wide with a big belt loop in the middle. The belt, um, the belt latch will just be a little square right in the middle. So see, here's what I did. I don't want a belt. So there's, I did. Okay, you don't have to do a belt. So there's, I did one line for the belt, another line for the bottom of the belt, and then I did a little rectangle. Now, since I want it to look like pants, that's a little hard to do. There's two things you can do. You can either draw a line like this and see how now it suddenly looks like pants. You can also do a little rectangle. So you actually have a little space. So I'm gonna do a little rectangle, see? That's a little rectangle. That's So that's leg one and that's leg two. You can do it in the back too if you want. Obviously they're your toys. You don't have to worry about how they look to anybody else. Um, but so that's totally up to you. And again, if you mess up, that's why you do it in pencil first because you can easily just erase on this wood. Pretty easy to erase. I'm gonna go ahead and put one little rectangle in the back as well. All right, so we're good on that right there. I made a little, there we go. See how I made a little line? Okay, let's say you wanted to put a tie on him. Then the way to do a tie is you just do uh, two little diamond shapes. So you kind of do a triangle and then do a, another triangle that will end in a little bit of a diamond. Now this, you can tell he's got, um, the moms will understand a little 70s style tie that's like very wide, but um, you don't have to do it that way. Again, I I felt like I made that too wide. So I just erased what I had done and I'm gonna do it again, but just make it a little bit narrower. Okay, so. The hardest part I found for me, honestly, was making his collar, um, but just a little triangle out to the side would work. 
and then and you've got a little collar. So see, there's his collar. There we go. Okay, so you can see my tie. I made this one skinnier. So I got a skinnier tie and then two little triangles out on the sides. That's going to be his shirt collar. If you don't want to do a tie, you can just do one line and do three little dots. That could be a button down. That also works really well. And then you're just going to continue that collar around. Just make a circle all the way around. Now we're going to keep his neck clear because um, he's not wearing a scarf. Um, so we'll just don't not do anything around his neck. Now, the reason I did it this way first is so you can put his hands on next. So do the hands the same way that we did before, which is make a circle and then two little curves. All right, so now I'm gonna make two little hands and we'll make a circle for his hands and take that off to the side. Oops, my guy got a little bit, a little bit uh, muscular. That's okay. Okay, so here's where I ended up. So you've got like, there's one arm right there, there's another arm right there. So obviously you can color these in any color that you want. Um, in this case, if you wanted to do his shirt all one color, then just go back with a darker color and just draw in his arms. Um, and then, so you would just be able to see them. Now let's talk about his face. So this guy I did with a little like a thin beard. Let's say you wanted to do that. If so, just go along that line you drew first and just go back and forth. Like watch, watch my pencil. He'll just go back and forth, like little tiny lines all the way along there. And that, see how you're kind of getting that shape? And you can go as thick or as thin as you want. And then make a little box in the middle. That'll be his beard. Now, this guy, I think I'm not going to do a beard on this one. This is going to be my son, my little Adam. So I'm just going to put a little smile and just leave it at that. And then I'm going to try to draw some hair. And if you're going to do that, then you can go ahead and just erase the face that you made. Again, this is why you do it in pencil. And then you can just put some hair on him. If you want, you can do a little ears on the side. So you do an ear on the right. It looks like a C, a backward C will make an ear. You see that backward C? Yeah, just a little C shape on each side will be an ear. There we go. And then you can just draw some hair in. An easy way to do the hair along the hairline is just kind of exaggerate, like make little triangles, a bunch of little triangles and then fill them in little different sizes and shapes on the, the on that hair. Remember, it's easy to add color. It's hard to take it away. And then you make a make a like a U shape along the back between the ears, and that can be the bottom of the hairline. You'll see I made a bunch of little triangle shapes at the top, and then I just took that around the ears and went around. It's going to be this that head shape. Now, since I already have a tie, I think I'll do this guy without a tie. I just wanted to show you how to do the tie, but we'll just put a little polo on him. So a little polo means you've got a button down shirt with a collar. So you can do the collar, it's just two um, wide triangles. And then just buttons are super easy. They're just a few little dots down. You can put a line and a few buttons. See how he's wearing a button down shirt? Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to color him in. So I am going to look at, so I have green. So I think I'll do some, um, if you have brown, you could do brown pants, but I'm going to do green. That way he'll match um, the, the little girl that I made. So I'm going to do a little green shirt on him. So this would be a good one where an outline in black would really show up. Just remember to keep his hands um, the color of the wood, so you don't want to color those in. Now, when you're going back over, if you don't like it the way it is in pencil, you can obviously modify it. 
you don't have to um, you don't have to do anything that you don't have to follow the lines that you had drawn earlier. If it's a light color, you might want to erase the lines, but obviously you don't have to. So in some ways he's easier, in some ways he's a lot harder because he's got a lot more detail. But if you want to put a thobe on him, then it's basically the same style as she was. Um, here, this guy's wearing a thobe. So he's just uh, wearing one color all the way down. So hair wise, I'm going to draw the hair just going around the ears with some random lines at the top, be like a, a messy, little messy haircut. Need around the back. This guy's going to have black hair. Oh, he's looking pretty cute already. Now you can do take you can put lots and lots of detail on these if you want, but um, you know just have fun with them. That's the goal here is have a good time. I mean, look, I didn't even color him in yet, and I think he's already pretty cute. Look at that guy. Look how cute that is. So I'll color in his head black. And you can do random lines. If you're if you're doing your uh, making a little daddy figure, you can put some gray in there. <laughs> or brown, any color you want. Now, any markers work, uh, Sharpies work. I tested a bunch of them. So washable markers, non-washable markers, whatever you want. It's, uh, it's just wood that you're coloring on. So it, the paint works as well. If you wanna make them really fancy, you can go back over them with paint. See, he's already cute. Look at that, look at the little guy. Hello, little guy. Just remember that the pencil is your friend because your pencil can be removed. Now you might need to let these dry a little bit if, um, after you're done so they don't get all over your fingers, but they should be fine in a little bit. They're all different faces. If you want to look them up online, just look up peg people. You'll find more than you will know what to do with. Obviously with your parents' help, don't go searching on your own. All right, see, now he's got a pair of brown pants. Look how cute this little guy is. So I made these two guys today. See, this is my son and my, my daughter. So maybe next year we can build on this year's and add to it and make something that will go with them. I'm gonna put them in front of my masjid. We're gonna put all the old ones back there. Let's see, which one would be my family? Okay, so Anissa's almost my height anyway, so we'll put her right next to me. Okay, here's Adam, and then we'll make this one a dear dad. Okay, how does that look? Slide them over. Put the other ones in the back. That can be another family. Now, don't forget what we said next week. You need to have at least one paper towel roll or empty toilet paper roll. If you have more, that'd be even better. Um, we're going to make something really fun. Um, Auntie Fozia will lead you in that.